Hello friend. Today let me see how to use the rm command. rm command is normally used mostly uh, in Linux operating system. This rm command the main purpose is to delete a file or directory if a file is no longer needed. Note, while using this command it should be noted carefully since it won't ask any confirmation which may lead to any loss of data. So let's we see the basic syntax rm options and the file or directory to be deleted. So at first we can see how to delete the file. Uh, in this test directory you can see the three files. So now I am just removing the test file.txt test file.txt so the test file.txt is deleted without any confirmation question. Next option we see is how to remove multiple files at a time. So here I can list there you can see the uh, six files so now I am removing the file and new file and testing so the three files are removed at a time for removing multiple files we are having another instance that is in this directory we have so many files with .txt extension so instead of you know, mentioning the each and every file names we can use rm star to mention every file with .txt extension so when you use this command the files with .txt extensions is removed permanently next we see how to remove a directory uh, for removing a directory we can't use simply rm command we have to use the specific option called recursive that is hyphen r option in this test directory you can see the two directories directory 1 and directory 2 so when I'm using just simply rm and directory 1 it says that cannot remove since it's a directory so I'm using the option called hyphen r and now the directory 1 so now the directory 1 is removed for removing a directory we have another option called rmdir so in this test directory we have empty directory and non-empty directory so I'm giving rmdir and non-empty directory so while using rmdir for non-empty directory that is this directory contains some files uh, it cannot remove so rmdir command should be used only for empty directory so rmdir or oh, empty directory now the empty directory is removed as we seen earlier either for files or directory while using rm command it won't ask any confirmation message before deleting so to avoid that we can use the option called hyphen i i for interactive mode so here you can see one directory that is non empty directory with some files inside so simply i can use hyphen r and non empty directory while using this it will delete the directory either it's empty or non empty without any confirmation so now i am using the option i so it asks for the confirmation that to delete this directory or not while giving yes this directory is non empty since it uh, contains the files it asks each and every time the confirmation so i am giving yes to all so now the file is removed so next we see is uh, how to remove forcefully uh, so in rm command either the file or directory by using hyphen r option it will delete it without any confirmation so to avoid that we can use hyphen i option whereas if the file or directory is write protected it will ask for the confirmation by default so here you can see only one file that is file one.txt is write protected so just simply I am giving rm hyphen r and file one.txt so it, it says that it's write protected regular empty file so uh, it asks for the confirmation before deleting so to avoid this uh, confirmation for write protected file we can use the option called f that is forcefully while using this option it won't ask any confirmation and the file is removed permanently whereas the same option cannot be used to directory since uh, it will return the permission denial so for removing directory with forceful option we have to be root thanks for watching